everybody. This is extremely exciting. The future of Unreal Engine is looking real, real interesting. Now, let me start off by saying, in today's video, and the footage that you're looking at right now, this is the Mover plugin. Brand new plugin being developed by Epic Games themselves to implement a new movement solution that will be replacing the old one eventually. Now, it's currently experimental, it's really early on, so don't get your hopes up too high right now, it's still early on. I mean, obviously, if you have a game that you will want to do with it, make sure that you take into the proper considerations, but they are not recommending it for every single project. But, but, this is an exciting new plugin that they've been developing, a new movement implementation that, can I just say, thank you. Thank you. Because... I don't know if you guys have tried to work with the character movement component that's currently in Unreal Engine. It is powerful. With networking capabilities that is like really, really good, right? Very, very good at what it does. Anything else? It becomes a little bit janky, I'm not gonna lie. It becomes a little bit problematic. Like, for one thing, it uses traces, so it goes and gets the capsule, and then it moves it out into the world. But if you look into the code of where it calls that kind of code, and then, you know, try to look around in that area in the source code, you'll actually find that you can't do rotations with the traces, and therefore, it's an upright capsule on the character and the character movement component for a reason. You can't have a, say, a box or a horizontal capsule because if you tried, they wouldn't have their traces rotate. I have tested. But this, this new implementation that they're looking to add to the engine is extremely exciting because, look, this was originally announced and released in, I think, its first experimental state in 5.4. I think it was, in some places it was listed as Mover 2.0. However, I think it's important to keep the conversation going, keep it rolling and keep talking about it because every version of the engine, they make more updates and they go and improve it and it's important to keep up to date with where it's at because who knows, maybe your project could now that it's gone and just like squeaked its way over the line to add one extra thing could use it in its current state which again it's experimental so be cautious of that but hypothetically theoretically it is something that you could do it might be okay for you right and one of those changes with 5.6 in particular and this is something that they had talked about in some of their videos and if you go into the repo they mention in the readme about they have finally added gravity override now i don't know to what extent haven't had a chance to really mess around with it but they have an example of it in the examples content plugin uh the mover examples content plugin and it shows off the the gravity which is really really cool so if you want to do some special little gravity game that you couldn't do before, well then, <laughs> now might be the time, possibly, potentially. It's experimental. I think I have to keep saying that because if I don't, then it might get misconstrued as this is the perfect, the, the, uh, the solution to all your problems, which it isn't necessarily. But the thing about this movement implementation that makes it super interesting, super cool, super exciting is, as I mentioned earlier about the character movement component, it has some rigid assumptions of how the character will be formed, i.e. an upright capsule. Now, that's cool for a character, right, who stands up and then doesn't do much else, right? They can crouch, that's okay, that's fine. but. Say you have something like a quadruped, or you have a prone that you want to implement and things like that, then it becomes a little bit more problematic, unfortunately. Because it is not 
the character movement component is not capable of handling those different types of collisions. It's got super rigid assumptions and you could go in and change the code and make it so it works for what you want and trust me, <laughs> I have tried. <laughs> but you're going to run into some problems. It's just, that's just how it works, right? It is very particular about how it wants things done. But this new mover plugin, they've actually talked about it and there's a little bit of a link I'm sharing up in the, in the top card there that they go, they actually talk about at some point, they, multiple times they mention horizontal capsules. Because they clearly got people hitting up their phones, going ring-a-ding-ding, Ayo, where my horizontal capsule's at? And they're like, I keep changing my phone number, how do you keep getting it? But they keep getting these calls anyway. So, they recognize, they understand that people want horizontal capsules as a supported shape. So, they are clearly going to be looking into implementing it. And another thing that they talk about in the video is, I think they mentioned somewhere, and I'd have to do a little bit of a review, but I think, I believe they mentioned somewhere how to get some AI integration, you know, like your basic game AI integration, they had to go through and change, they had to go talk to the, I think, I think they say they, uh, we talked to the AI team or we had to make some changes to the AI systems because some of the stuff makes some assumptions about what AI is actually being used. Which is really, really interesting because the fact that they're going into the engine code and then changing other systems to more support mover is really good, actually. It's really cool because that means that they're not just going to be like plastering it on top and then being like, all right, well, hopefully, hopefully we can get this to work and then just have a bunch of systems that don't really integrate all that well. It's just like, and that could also suggest that they might potentially, and this would be exciting in itself, support rotational traces. So you can trace and have the rotation included in the trace, and so you can rotate a capsule as part of a trace, and it would actually work, maybe? Please? That'd be exciting. But that's cool. That's interesting. That's some really awesome stuff. Exciting as heck. But where are we at right now? Because we in 5.6, and I talked about the gravity override, but I haven't talked about anything else. So, I've also linked down in the description a roadmap, the roadmap for 5.6, the specific card where they talk about it. In that card, they have made improvements to AI integration, animation support, and just performance improvements. And an interesting thing that they mention in that card is how they are introducing a different thread for the movement logic which is very interesting because this and this is this is getting my little theory brain going right this to me suggests a movement towards an update an upgrade to the engine that was mentioned in an interview with tim sweeney which you can go watch i think i'm gonna put a card up and a link and all that kind of stuff so there's a specific part in the video, around about 2 hours, 53 minutes, and 18 seconds is probably a good place to start. Where basically they start talking about having thousands to millions to tens of millions of players all in the same simulated world. Which is insane. That is actually crazy. They're, they're, they're looking, they're like, yes, I want to have that many players all in one game. Maybe it would function. I don't know. But it does kind of suggest to me that with the new changes that they've made, and it's evident in the card, that they are trying to move to a multi-threaded system that might be inferring that they are trying to move towards that kind of thing, where they're trying to add in movement, multi-threaded, and allow for more players than they could have ever previously done. Because, and I think Tim Sweeney mentions it, like, back in Unreal Engine 1, they made decisions to do single-threaded decisions. Decisions to make single... They, they single-threaded... It was largely single-threaded, and it's kind of come through throughout the whole engine. Which is, you know... Which makes it a bit hard to have thousands or millions of players all playing together in one thing. 
But that is a super interesting thing. They're finding a way to make it so that the movement simulation can be separated from the game simulation and such like that. They're also looking at supporting both physics and kinematic characters through this new mover plugin. They've got like examples of it as you'll see on screen and such. They've got like kinematic and physics based stuff so that they can allow players to or l allow developers to make their mover however they want to. I think in part it's because they want to allow Fortnite creators to support physics based games because currently they can't because they're using the character movement component and stuff like that. But this is just super duper exciting. Really, really awesome. I want to keep up to date with this mover plugin. You can keep up to date with it as well. If you join their GitHub repo, and just every time there's a new version, you can just go into the plugins, experimental, mover, and look at the readme, see if there's any changes there, or just look at the commits that they've gone and made and such, just to view any changes that they end up making. It's super duper exciting. Awesome thing. And I am definitely going to be moving towards this in my future projects because I really needed something to replace my replace the character movement component. There are too many things in this world that just aren't an upright capsule. If you liked this video, then you should definitely like it and you should subscribe to it. Or subscribe to me because I'm always talking game development, Unreal Engine, stuff like that. So there's more videos around that, maybe tutorial or something like that, but whatever floats your boat, I am definitely going to keep up to date with this and I don't know, maybe do some more coverage of this as it gets more updates because this, this is a big thing to me, this is a big thing. Haven't had a chance to properly mess around with it yet, but I will and it will be awesome. So, good bye.